And I know how well you can see it on the GoPro. Because the GoPro always makes everything look easy. <laughs> Just came down here. It's like it's cut through here. I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. It's the only way. There's no other road through here. So I guess I'll just keep going. This is madness. rock here because I try to pick her up she's sliding This track better lead somewhere because I've hit the point of no return a while back. bad some sheep what are you guys doing here oh might explain but somehow I just ended up on a sheep trail made it out <laughs> I see a road <laughs> oh almost will break it's so hard and I know how well you can see it on the GoPro because the GoPro always makes everything look easy <laughs> just came down here <sighs> just a little bit more <laughs> this is testing me <laughs> I'm sweating because I'm wearing literally I think six layers here and four layers on the pants because I thought it was going to be really very cold today, so I just wore pretty much all my clothes. <laughs> but now, of course, it's way too hot wrestling through this 
path. Oh, this is insane. Yeah, I mean, the Baja Rally aside, I don't think I ever attempted a track this difficult on my own with a loaded bike. It's, it's really, really hard. And I'm almost there because I think I'm supposed to cross this plane and then there's the road. So I'm almost there. Just this last bit, I don't want to now make a mistake because I'm tired. Normally, I never try to stop when I'm in the middle of a difficult part. It's better to get through it and then take a break because otherwise you just build up fear in your head. But now I was like, no. Oh. I did it! I did it! That was extremely tough. Extremely tough. Where did I go? No, no, no! There must be a track across this plain somewhere. But where? Should have gotten here, I think. Why not? This way. my gear shifter oh this is not good not good I bent my gear shifter when I dropped Alaska on the rocks see now it's against the engine case hmm change of plans that means mm. can only ride in third gear now <laughs> I can't shift more up anymore so I'm kind of uh, well I'm just gonna limp back to the first place I see where I can find a mechanic if I have to make it all the way to Uarzazate, it's still 150 k's. So it's going to take me about three hours if I do 50 k's an hour. But maybe I'll pass another town on the way. That would be good. All right, I have found a way that I can still shift up. I must just <laughs> carefully move my feet, move my foot kind of outwards. Then I can still shift carefully. This is the top of the pass. Ah, 2,800 meters. Wow. <laughs> what a view! Look at this. Incredible, right? Passing through a small village again. It always baffles me because it seemed like I was on a yeah, I was on an asphalt road, paved road, and then suddenly it just disappears <laughs> You're in a in a town like this. Just amazing, right? Another small village. Look at that, just perched on the top there. Just some how 
Jesus is sitting there. It's unbelievable, right? I mean, these places are just incredible. Look at it. Up here in the high atlas. Amazing. Back on gravel again. Right, I'm now almost down at the bottom of the gorge next to the river. Oh, there's a oh river. Oh, is it meant to do that? like it's cut through here. I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. It's the only way. There's no other road through here. So I guess I'll just keep going. This is madness. No? Man, I think I got everything today. Yes. I wonder how many people would live here. Access is not easy. That is for sure. Notice them because they also they just blend in with the surroundings. See up there? Oh, looks like people live here. Just don't see any people. No oh. water. It's just the river is on the road. I wonder if it's always always like this. This is definitely a first. deep I don't think I ever did that many water crossings in one single ride this must be an absolute record 
terms of water riding and then also in terms of hard enduro tracks <laughs> Woo! Morocco got it all, eh? Morocco's got it all yeah, There's a, some houses Guess what? I made it across the mountains. Look, I'm finally descending. The road's been kind of paved, unpaved, paved, unpaved. But see, this is the edge of the mountains. I'm now going down there. So hopefully it will be a little warmer there too. I am in Uarzarazate or something. I am first going to look for a place to stay. It's four o'clock. I am really tired and very cold as well. So this is the taxi stand. The taxi. Hotel. Sounds good. You can park Alaska inside. So I made it to a hotel room. As you hopefully will understand is I'm going to keep this short because I am finished. I'm so tired and I'm just cold. I'm gonna have a hot shower now because yeah, I was sweating, struggling on the trail and then I got it got really cold again. So I was like hot, cold, hot, cold. Uh, so that wasn't really great. <laughs> and I think today I spent a little bit more time, well, on the ground uh, with Alaska than I would have wanted. I dropped her quite a few times today, unfortunately. But still, I'm just proud I made it through. Like that trail was hectic, hectic. And it's like, it doesn't matter how I get through it. I just must get through it and don't give up. Keep on going, keep on going. And then you make it through to the other side. And yeah, it's just a really amazing feeling. About the gear shifter, the last stretch, I actually didn't have any trouble anymore. So I bend it back myself. And I don't know, maybe it's because now I've a little <laughs> already developed a technique of kind of like pushing it outward a little bit so that it doesn't get stuck. I'll try and find a workshop somewhere to just have it checked out and maybe bend it a little bit better than what I did. But right now I'm not really too worried about it. It's going. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.